moving on to the relationship between language and logic may help us in understanding meanings further. Logic is usually concerned with, uh, with the ways in which various ideas are related to each other, the ways in which they can be combined together, and, the, and, and with the ways through which uh, they can be used to derive more ideas with uh, confidence. So, logic deals with putting together various ideas to create certain meanings. Many mid-20th century uh, philosophers and linguists believe that logic can be used or could, could be one possible way to reach out meanings in, in language or also to explain various kinds of meaning in, in a language. Logicians tend not to talk about ideas that frequently, but uh, it's, it's surprising that the, the term proposition is a key term in traditional logic, and it has also been a key term in the explanation and the philosophies of meaning uh, in recent times. Propositions are, are the sentences, usually declarative sentences, which express meanings and they can also be seen as the contents of thought. They include that content or, or information which may be verified as true or false in a traditional logical way. Consider the following examples of propositions coming in the next slide. Uh, if you look at the top, uh, we have a proposition, Philip is a father. Uh, this declarative statement may be verified as true or false because you can always judge that uh, uh, Philip has, uh, has a son or not, or has any, uh, any other uh, offspring or not. Similarly, Minare Pakistan is situated in Lahore, and this can always, always be verified by knowing some geographical details of the Lahore. The next uh, proposition is Harold lives in Barcelona, and this can also be verified by having some information about Harold. In logic, in traditional logic, symbols are used to uh, convey or to express various propositions instead of writing complete propositions. For example, uh, the usual terms which, which are used here or the symbols are of P, Q, R. For example, P can be used for the first proposition, then Q for the next, and R for, for the next. Uh, similarly, some other Symbols are also used to combine various uh, propositions. The symbol in front of you and at the bottom of this screen conveys uh, a logical conjunction. This is used usually for the meanings of AND, where two similar ideas are combined. Uh, for instance, if we combine sentence 1 and 3 to express Philip is a father and Harold lives in Barcelona. In logical notation, we will write it, write it P and Q. It also specifies the truth and falsity uh, of the complex proposition. Uh, thus, if 1 and 3 are true, for example, statement 1 and uh, 3 are true, then their logical conjunction and combination should also be true. So, the combination of 1 and 3, 1 and 3 in form of statement 4 should be true if the statement 1 and 3 are true. The logical meaning of simple proposition is determined uh, by the principle of comp compositionality. Uh, compositionality holds that the meaning of a whole is made up by the meaning of uh, various parts which constitute that whole. So, if we know the meanings of various parts of a sentence, uh, we can make up for the meanings of the whole sentence. Thus, the meaning of proposition is composed of the meanings of a subject and the predicate including, included in it. In order to find out uh, that a particular uh, proposition is true, it is also important to talk about the relationship between uh, different propositions. For example, imagine you discover that 5 is true. Uh, and five in front of you is Philip has a son. Keeping uh, this in view, you can be confident that one is also true because uh, if one is not true, 
uh, five can also not be true uh, because being a father follows from having a son. So uh, we can sum up that the meanings in in traditional logic uh, flow from the combination of various ideas and the various elements of traditional logic may be used to understand understand the meanings in language.